we first need to understand what is shared repository, how to create a shared repository. First, let us start with creating a shared repository. Then we'll move on to how to solve using repository parameter, the dynamic object. First, I insert resource object repository manager. Inside this object repository, stream manager I can add the objects object add object it is same as you have noticed in the local repository that is object repository menu resources in this add object I add all the object now you can see the flight has gone so I use now I have selected flight reservation icon, flight is gone, so I used control, minimize the class nodes, then I came back to the flight reservation. I selected the window because I want all the child objects to be recognized. Since it is a shared repository, multiple people uses this repository. Since multiple people uses this repository, I don't know which object each user will work on. Uh, so I like to add all the child objects from this parent object flight reservation into my repository window. So I choose now all object types. I have an option in the define object filter screen. I have an option to, to choose default object types, to choose selected objects or all object types. I choose now all object types because I am not sure the other users what object they will work with. I have now added all the objects to this repository that is present in the flight reservation. I have added all the objects. Now you can see to the left hand side static object. The data flight that you see in gray color it is a static object. Same data flight if you see it in the green color it is now what you call it as edit box. that is win object win object data flight where win object data flight is uh, what the edit boxes so all the green colors are edit boxes all the objects are shown in the object window all my buttons are shown with a button icon this is all the child objects of that parent is now added i save this repository Usually the repositories has to be in a separate folder of the framework that we try to follow. So I go to our framework that is online class. In this online I create a repository as my new window. Sorry, I create a folder that is repository is my folder. Inside the repository I say now flight reservation. So flight reservation e dot tsr is the shared repository created. This repository can be stored in any locations and all other users can use this repository now. So I have created a repository. I now close it exit if you I want to use that repository to my script resources object repository before I record you can see now this new test action doesn't have any repository binded now I like to use that repository to this action before I proceed to recording if I do it after recording, the recorded script by default adds the object to the local repository. So anything that you want to map, you need to map before recording. 
to map the shared repository to the existing window, I can use resources associate repository. This is one available method. Another available method is select action, right click, action properties, in action properties, associate properties. This is the another method to map shared repository into the local action. So if I, I can do it in both ways, let me do it on the using the first option, resources, associate repositories. Under this associate repositories, I am now adding the repository. I am adding the repository using the plus symbol. This is the place I stored my shared repository. I am choosing the repository now. I click on open. I opened the shared repository now. I need to bind this repository to the action that we have, available action. For each, I can add multiple repositories to this window. For each of the repository, I need to bind the action now, as I am doing it now. Now, the repository is binded to this action. If I say OK, go back to the resources repository, that is local repository. In this local repository, if I click, you can now see that there all the objects are added to this repository. I select from resources repository. That repository is a local repository for action 1 and action 1 is binded with all the objects that we have seen. Note, all these objects are non-editable. I cannot change the description properties here. It doesn't allow me to change because it is a shared repository. You cannot edit the value of the property. So it is all in the non-editable mode. If you want to change it, you need to change it using the parent object repository and then change it automatically that will get reflected here. This is now I binded the shared repository to the main test case. For each of the test case, I need to do it. Now if I go here, go to action properties, associated property, you can see that that repository is added here. Also you can see the local repository still exists. While I record, in case if I record on certain object, which doesn't have a shared repository, which doesn't have an object in the shared repository, automatically that object is added to the local repository. It is your duty in case you have to convert that local into shared repository, then you need to do it manually. There is one called set as default. If I select set as default, then all new actions that I create automatically binds this repository. That is what set as default means. By selecting set as default, whenever I create new action, all the new actions will by default binds with the selected repository. That is what set as default means. New action, I don't have to map the repository manually. This is what set as default means. I can remove the repository from this window. This is not physical removal of uh, repository. It is only the binding of this action to this repository is removed. If I remove it, <coughs> repository window will not show this repository. Now I have added, things are done. I am going to record now on the application. Before we get into the shared repository parameter, we are trying to understand what is shared repository. Now I am creating I've selected Frankfurt chosen the flight name typed insert order base state clearing the screen <coughs> I stop my order recording. 
Now if I move back automation if I move back to repository object repository resources object repository under this object repository if I open you can notice now I open the object repository you can notice now all the objects under flight reservations are as it is the flight table is the object newly created in the local repository the reason for this object is because in the shared repository we have not created this ok button object since we have not created the ok button object he created that object in this local repository so the flight table ok button is editable and this is local and all other objects are intact and I have not recreated those objects. It is using those objects into the script. For example, if you see that bin object data flight, object properties, you can see now it is data flight read only mode. The read only mode indicates that I am using the shared repository. If I go to flight table OK button, you can see now this OK button is not in the read only mode. It is in the normal mode because it is part of the local repository. First, I used the shared rep created a shared repository. I binded the shared repository to my test case and then I am now recorded. After binding, I need to record. Then I run the script and script will work. So he is now getting into flight 2 tickets. You might have noticed the data of flight after I reset all the objects it is identified as a win object because the mapping is removed. Now we have done this it is able to execute. I save this file. This is how we create a shared repository and use the shared repository into the script.